Hey everyone, Mitchell Gould here and making a quick review video of Snagit, which is a screen capture and recording software I've been using for about five years now. And I really like it, so I thought I'd do a quick overview of it, show you an example and some of the features that I like, and then go into the pricing. So I'm on the homepage here and there's a lot of cool features within Snagit. Um, it has a lot of reviews. You can see here on G2, 4.7 out of five stars of almost um, four and a half thousand reviews. You can use it to scroll and capture, um, record. You have a library of the, the screenshots and recordings you take. They have some more smart features where you can move certain elements. I don't specifically use those, but I'll show you the features that I use a lot. And then this is what it looks like to um, start a capture and adjust things. And then you can also make edits, annotations, inside the actual editor after you take a screenshot. This can be used for presentations, taking a screenshot for you know training and annotating a certain area of the screenshot. That's how I use it a lot of times when I'm working with a client. Sometimes I need to take a screenshot and I'll you know put an arrow here and, and I'll say, you know, what do you think about this LinkedIn ads headline? Um, I'm a LinkedIn ads and Google ads specialist. So that's primarily how I use it with my clients to help with annotate certain screenshots and help make a discussion easier by providing a visual aid. But again, it could be great for training purposes, really great for team collaboration. Uh, I'm gonna go into example here and show you some of the features that I like. So how I start a screenshot is I will uh, do a shortcut on my keyboard. So I do um, command print screen. And you can see here, it pulls up the, the screenshot tool that I already have set up. So I'll take a screenshot of this section here and then it pulls it into the editor. And then a lot of the common um, annotations that I use is like an arrow. So, you know, I'll go um, make an arrow to like this section. You can add text, you can do a call out. So maybe you want to call out a, a specific area and write that out here. And then I also like the blur function. Sometimes you have to hide certain, you know, uh, data or certain um, you know names of like clients or customers so you can blur things out and then you can adjust the intensity the style of the blur another really cool feature that i like and use a lot is the cutout feature so you go to cut out here and say you want to just delete a section of the screenshot so you can go here and you can remove um, a certain uh, area you'll have to flatten it first which just compresses all the elements together so I can't edit that call out now, but you could always go back and do the cutout before you add all the other elements. And then also lastly, you can add steps. So if you're going through something, you know, you can put step one, write a little text here, click this, step two, go here, step three, go here, review. So um, that's how I primarily use it. Just those features alone, I use probably about 80% of the time. I mainly use it for just static screenshot images. You can do recordings and rolling screenshots of like a web browser too, but I primarily use it just for the static images. And then in terms of pricing, for an individual license subscription, it's $39 per year. That's what I'm using right now, individual license here. And then there's perpetual individual and small teams. Um, it says this comes with a transferable single user key for each user. And then there's the business version as well. So there's a 30 day money back guarantee. So you can always test it out and try and see what you think. And I will put the link in the description. It will be affiliate link because it's one of the products I use. So I'm gonna promote it down there. If you have any questions about it, please put them in the comment section. Be happy to help you out there and um, discuss anything. If you have any specific questions before you want to buy it, um, put them in the comment section and I can take a look at it for you there and then let you know. Thanks for watching and have a great day.